Hello children, welcome to video classes. I'm really happy that you're watching this video. Before further go, let's get started uh, today's video class. Okay children, so in the previous video, uh, we have uh, uh, discussed some of the classwork and now let's continue the classwork as well. Okay children, and I would like to share a uh, read and write topic. Yes, C5. Read and discuss your responses with your partner then write i mean read and write okay children and let's read the question number one in read and write what similarities and differences can you make out between the two boys isn't it the black boy and the white boy i think you all are, uh, are very aware of these two boys in uh, you know in the lesson of uh, the jamaican fragment okay children what similarities and differences can you make out between the two boys see the answer the similarities and differences between the two boys or something like this so these are the similarities children black boy and white boy and in one column we could find the uh, uh, the black boy features and the, i mean the similarities between black and white boy and second column white boy and the black boy is also a little boy and the white boy is also a little boy and his uh, study and he white boy is also sturdy, isn't it? Yes, sturdy. And then uh, dressed in blue shirt and khaki pants. Who? The black boy was in dressed in blue shirt and khaki pants. And even a white boy also same in the dress. Dressed in blue shirt and khaki pants. And there were no shoes. And even to the white boy also there were no shoes and feet were muddy and feet were muddy okay children and then this uh, differences these are the differences between the white uh, boy and the black boy and the column here as we told you that uh, he was black and then white and the black boy was uh, five years old and the white boy was four years old and the black boy was very black sorry very dark and the white boy was white in color and the black boy was cool black eyes and the white boy reddish brown eyes mat of coarse hair and light brown hair and these are the differences children and i hope you understood and let's move on to the second question what three commands did the big boy give the small boy I repeat the question what three commands did the big boy give the small boy okay and the answer is the big black boy uh, gave that there is no s actually please uh, remove this the big black boy gave only two commands to small white boy the commands were See, only the black boy uh, gave only two commands. And the two commands were, give me a banana. What, you, what was the first command? Give me a banana. And the second command was, peel it for me. These are the two commands which were given by the black boy. Okay, children. And let's move on to the third question. Dato could not find any answer to some questions which are those questions we have to answer the questions isn't it a narrator or author could not find uh, you know find any answers to some questions we have to mention we have to state the questions okay children and the answer is the author could find no answer to some questions those questions were what are the questions was it the even as a boy he sensed that in his own country, he would be at the white man's beck and call. That means, uh, could he be a slave in his own country, Jamaica? He was thinking about the black boy children. And the second question was, could he make a difference between himself and the white boy? Isn't it? Could he make a difference between himself and the white boy? I mean, did he find... Any difficulties, any differences between the white and black boy? Yes. And could he think that he was going to boss over the black man? Here we are talking about the white boy. White boy, could he think that he was going to be boss over the black man? 
so these are the questions which he couldn't get answers for that the narrator or the author okay children and then let's move on to the fourth question why was the narrator surprised the next morning very interesting question right why was the narrator surprised the next morning and the answer is the game next morning astonished the author because it went against the conclusions he had arrived at the previous morning the next morning too the game was the same game of master and servant but the boys had changed roles roles and it was the turn of the dog boy to play the role of master with the anger white boy taking on himself the role of the servant so this particular situation gave him a huge shock to the narrator isn't it children right children yeah and then let's move on to the next thing question number 5 how did the two boys behave how did the two boys behave while playing right and the answer is the white boy while playing the role of the master walked majestically up and down and shouted at the big boy in a commanding tone the dark boy followed him quietly and did what he was told the big boy while playing the role of the master was impressively walking up and down ordering the white boy to do uh, certain things the white boy uh, obediently carried out the big boy's orders so this is the answer and i hope you understood because we discussed a lot about this in our classes in our previous video classes and question number 6 what made the narrator think that the black boy could be the son of a servant or a classmate of the white boy isn't it yes the answer is the little black boy dragged on quietly behind the white boy and did what he was told and the little black boy submitted this made him think that the black boy must be the son of a servant but both were wearing the same dress so he thought that either they were neighbors or playmates or classmates of a white boy isn't it children because of those particular reasons he thought something like that but they could be a neighbors or the playmates or uh, classmates of a white boy okay children and let's move on to the second question i mean sorry seventh question what were the two points that the narrator wanted to clarify to the white man yes what were the two points that the narrator wanted to clarify to the white man i mean in the next morning as we know that and the answer was, and the answer is the narrator thought that the white man like himself would be wondering if the black race was superior to the whites and if the blacks were going to rule the whites in the end he wanted to clarify to the white man that he it was not the case the children were only playing a game and they the adults were misinterpreting their actions so the black man wants to clarify the white man that there was only i mean that was only a game that the two boys were playing it it is not going to be real at all because it was i mean it is jamaica the country of the blacks the country of the people the country of the humans isn't it children yeah and that is what he wanted to convey the and uh, uh, telling information and uh, question number 8 the two boys thought brothers differed in their color what might be the reason yes obviously the two boys though brothers differed in their color because their parents are jamaican mother and englishman father yes jamaican mother and englishman father obviously the woman was brown and the man was a very white obviously englishman isn't it because of that particular reason one boy was in white color and another boy was in black color and question number 9 if you were the white man how would you react to the narrator's comment comment if you were i mean here we talking about you have to imagine yourself as 
uh, white man white white man how would you react the narrator's command you know comment so when you know when was the white uh, the black man was coming through the white man and he was you know uh, shooting with some words you know telling some words giving information that the boys were not the, the boys were not you know being truth or they were just playing or something how would you remain how, how would you uh, react that is the question self assessment i mean you can answer this question and the model answer is if i were the white man i would also react like the white man because the narrator said the truth something like this please imagine yourself and do self assessment and i will agree whatever you are doing it okay children and let's move on to the vocabulary column a has the names of the countries choose the correct nationality from the list given below and write in column b america american so something like jamaica jamaican india indian something like this understand children so actually here we have some list so this is the list i hope you could see here i'll i'll, I'll just read the list dutch swiss greek uh, israelite british french thai portuguese uh, swedish and nepalese so this is the list we have to write it down with a perfect suitable place or the country okay portugal obviously it is portuguese britain british france french thailand thai sweden swedish holland dutch and holland dutch as we discussed and uh, switzerland swiss greece greek israel israelite nepal nepalis isn't it so these are the countries okay i hope you understood so if you have any doubts please let me know children thank you for watching the entire video thank you so much